everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a follow-up video following my breast reduction video. A lot of you have seen it, it has got like over a quarter of a million views. I'll leave that video linked down below in case you haven't seen it because you might want to watch that one first and if you've come from that video then I am now two months post-op, just over two months actually, and I just want to say a massive massive thank you, a million thank yous to everyone that left amazing comments, your likes, your messages of extreme support. I am still getting through all your emails and comments, hang tight. I do want to help and advise as many people as I can, um, but there has been loads and like loads. So I just wanna say thank you again for sharing all your stories with me. And uh, yes, just massive thank you. When I went back the other day actually to be completely signed off just for the final checks of the surgeon. I was told that actually quite a few of you have gone over to Harley Medical Group and asked for Mark Salamas, my surgeon, because you saw my video. So if that's one of you, then that's amazing. And I'm so excited for you because I just know how much it's changed my life and I know it will change yours as well. And it's just so lovely to know that it's actually helped some people and you've actually listened and you've gone to my surgeon. So yep, all signed off now from Harley Medical Group. So I just wanted to do a bit of an update, a bit of how I'm feeling now and answer a few of the frequently asked questions that I saw in the comments on my video. So I'm feeling absolutely amazing. I can't even feel the pain really anymore. It's just slight discomfort and you just, I still have to be really careful. I'm I'm just beyond happy, I'm beyond words, I can't tell you how much my life has already changed, um, but you knew that from the previous video. So answering your frequently asked questions, there were two that kept coming up. The first one was can you breastfeed? Now the answer to that is possibly, you can possibly breastfeed if after a reduction, but my surgeon said expect to not be able to but many women still can. So the answer to that is possibly. Um, it can be either or, depending if the nipple is still attached. And then the other main question that people ask, and I can't quite believe I didn't even refer to it, was my size before and my size now. So at the time of filming that video, I didn't actually know my size currently post-op um, because I hadn't been able to get fitted yet but I actually went for my first bra fitting last week which was really scary and I told them I'm gonna have scars I'm sorry and I was really nervous but gotta do it I was brave I did it um, so my starting size was a 38J so 38J and I was fitted and my size at the moment is a 34F, but that is with swelling and the swelling can last for up to a year. So my final size should be a 34D, but I am just over the moon with the results. You've seen the before and after. It's incredible. It's amazing. But I now don't have to wear surgery bras. I can now wear actual bras. I'm still preferable to surgery bras just because it's more comfortable for me at the moment and I still do sleep in the surgery bras just because I feel more secure and it is all about keeping yourself comfortable and I think that's the most important thing. So I did want to show you two of my surgery bras. So you can actually get post-surgery bras from quite a lot of places I wasn't aware of. Um, this one is from Asda so let me just show you this properly. This one is a black one. I got a pack of a black and a white one and it's a comfortable t-shirty sweatshirt material and they actually do up, the clasps are at the front so it can wrap around and really secure the breasts. Um, and I just found these so comfortable and it's a razor back as well. And then this bra is the one that was actually surgeon recommended. This is by the brand Macom. You can order those online. This one's in the nude color and it's a lot more good quality and structured and comfortable. Well, actually, no, that's a lie, they're all really comfortable, but it's more of a medical one, if that makes sense. But I also found that this one was a lot better with my outfits and was less visible because obviously it's not a racer back. And this is the one that I actually bought to the hospital with me so that they could put it on after my surgery and they said it was perfect. So um, this was the bra. I just love watching that hospital footage in the other video. I'm so glad I've got that. I'm so lucky that I had Arabella there. She was the abs an absolute dream. But yes, I'm all signed off now. Regarding scars, I've said this to so many of my friends, I actually said this to the surgeon last week, I said even if the scars stayed looking how they do now, it doesn't bother me at all. So with a reduction you have scarring around the nipple, 
down and under so it's kind of like an anchor shape and I've been told I can use two things on them now to help reduce the scars so the first one you will be aware of it is bio oil and I actually use this as well as the next product I'm going to show you and I've been using this for about a week now ever since I've been told I'm allowed to um, so you just massage that onto the scars every morning and every night I mean I can't tell you now if it's gonna make a difference because the scars will have healed anyway without any aids but it could make the process quicker, it could make it better. The surgeon literally said they will completely fade, so I don't know if it will help it fade even more than it would have done or what, but we're just gonna go with it, I'll try it anyway. And then the other thing I've been advised to use is this scar reduction serum from Boots. I literally just asked for scar removal cream at the chemist bit or the pharmacy bit, and um, I was advised this one or recommended it, so um, I'm using this one as well and just going over the scars. The scars actually underneath the breasts I find the most tender and I have got my nipple sensation back like when it's a bit colder, they appear. So yes, that's all good news. I will say though, the most, the time that I can feel the scarring the most and the time that I'm most aware that I've had the surgery feeling wise obviously like when I look down I'm like whoa and obviously mentally I know I've had it because it's life-changing but what I mean is the physical I know is when I'm having a shower and when I've come out of the shower it fit they feel a lot more tender around where the scars are but the soap I've been using I've been using obviously like everything that I would usually use so I've been using a Jo Malone one a Sanctuary Spa one and also one by Sopa Dupa it's been really really good. I was actually recommended the Sopa Dupa one by a friend that has also had a breast reduction surgery um, so that's been really nice and gentle but yes every time I come out of the shower I can feel it. Also I forgot to say I have tried sleeping without a surgery bra on but I just find it feels very um, tender that's the only word I can say and I it it just feels better with the surgery bra on for now. So every couple of weeks I'll try sleeping without it and see how I feel but as I said comfort is key so whatever I feel most comfortable with I'll go with. So all in all really no pain, the pain is completely minimal to what I was imagining um, and I have absolutely no complaints, no hang-ups. It was the best decision of my life. And I'm so grateful to everyone at Harley Medical Group. I'm so grateful to my nurse counsellor, Catherine, and to Mark Solomos, the surgeon. It's just been the best thing that I've ever done in my entire life. Um, recovery. I think my recovery may, like, physically, I may be taking a bit longer just because of my fibromyalgia, ME and all that stuff. It just takes me a bit longer to adjust to new things. I'm getting there. I mean, this tired, fatigued, pain, chronic pain and all that is my normal anyway. So I am back to normal, um, but yeah. <laughs> Obviously everyone's recovery is gonna be different, but that's just mine. And uh, yes, I hope I answered those questions. I just wanted to do a little quick follow up. I am still reading every single comment, replying to as many as I can on my original video, still replying to your Instagram DMs, Twitter DMs, emails, there's just loads of them. So I just wanna thank you all for your support again. And if you have messaged me, I want to thank you for sharing and opening up to me. Um, I know it's a really scary step, but if you are reluctant or scared about taking the next step, just don't be. Obviously it's massive, obviously it's huge, but it's completely life-changing for the better. So I just have to say, just go for it. But yes, there's my little follow-up and there's those are my answers to the two frequently asked questions. I was very surprised that so many actually asked about breastfeeding uh, because I didn't it didn't occur to me to mention it. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.